Hey everybody, it's Jenny Lee. I love you all in the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. He is worthy of all of the praise, all of the honor, all of the glory. So let us continue on strong in this walk in the narrow way. I'm just going to wait for a couple people to join me. And the Lord is good. He is fighting for us. He is fighting in us and through us. So it's the push through period and let us just continue on strong. Let us give glory to the one who laid his life down for us so that all who believe on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the name of the Lord is Jesus Christ. It's Yahweh. It's Emmanuel, God with us. So thank the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth for sending his only begotten son so that whosoever should believe should not perish, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And so, the Lord is merciful. His mercy endures forever, and we shall continue doing what we're called to do. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, and we shall continue on, strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. It's not by our own strength, it's not by our own power, but by the Spirit of the living God, which all things that we see, all things in front of us, all things that we hear, all things that we know, all things that we don't know, consist. So it's a consistency. The Lord is our stability. The Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ is our strong tower, our mighty rock, our redeemer, our fortress, our deliverer. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So let us give him all of the praise. Let us give him all of the glory. Let us give him all of the honor that is due to his holy name, even in the midst of the trial, even in the midst of the tribulation, even in the midst of the struggle. The Lord is on our side. If God be for us, who can be against us? The Lord has qualified us, and no man can rob that from us. The spirit of the living God is our qualification, and I call forth the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ, which destroys every yoke. It destroys every yoke of bondage. It destroys every yoke of darkness. It destroys every demonic restriction, which would try to so easily um, trap us. The sin which so easily used to beset us shall not beset us anymore because the anointing is so weighty. There is a glory about it. There is a weightiness about it that the sins which used to drag us down before have become so light, almost like an eggshell, and the anointing just falling with gravity upon that shell and just destroying that yoke which so easily used to set us back before shall not any longer because in declaration with agreement of the word of God no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every single tongue that shall rise up against us in judgment thou shall condemn for this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord whose servants we surely are we confess with our mouth and believe in our hearts that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one of God, the Son of God. All who believe shall run to him for safety and be saved on the last day. And because the day of the Lord is coming as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away and the earth shall burn up with a fervent heat, let us do the works of he who has called us into his marvelous light. We show forth praises through the Lord Jesus. We show praises to God who has pulled us out of darkness into his marvelous light. And yes, the night comes when no man can work anymore thereafter. So let us work the works of he who has called us and let us do it now. Let us do it now without hesitation. Even in the midst of our struggle, I apologize, even in the midst of our trial, let us just continue. Let us just continue. Nothing can stop a move of God. Nothing can stop a revival of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak revival into the atmosphere in the name of Christ. I speak breakthrough. I speak miracles. I speak healings. I speak the gift of faith in full operation. I come against any demonic assignment sent by the enemy uh, against this video in the name of Jesus Christ. And I plead the blood of Christ over this video. I plead the blood of Christ over all of us. 
And I pray for an encouraging spirit to fall upon the body of Christ. I pray for the spirit of truth and worship to fall mightily upon the body of Christ. Let us not grow weary in well-doing. And even in the midst of our struggle, God will use us for his glory. Even in the midst of our pain and suffering, God shall use us for his glory because we overcome Satan. How? It's by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony, not loving our lives unto death. You see, we could be doing anything else right now, but we choose to fellowship together in harmony, in one mind, and in one accord is what I pray. That the Holy Spirit of the living God would fall mightily upon us this night and every night hereafter, and that we, we would just be filled with the knowledge of God. And we would be fruitful in all that we do. And the things of yesterday, the former things, we put behind us and we close that door. We are new creations in Jesus Christ. All former things, all old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. It doesn't say that some things have become new, but it says that all old things have passed away. All things have become new. We are new creatures. We are new creations in Jesus Christ. When we sin for even feeling bad for it, shows how we are made new in Christ. And we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities. We wrestle against powers. We wrestle against rulers of the darkness of this world. We wrestle against spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places, in heavenly dimensions, in heavenly realms that we cannot see. There is a wrestling. The angels of the living God wrestling with the demonic forces set against us. But the victory has already been won. And there is glory in the struggle even. There is glory in the victory. But what I consider victory is a resilience. That the righteous may fall however many times they may fall. But the fact is that he gets back up. And we are righteous not in ourselves, but because of what Christ has done. And we have faith in Jesus Christ. We are made righteous by faith in Jesus Christ. And the finished work on the cross is what even makes us righteous to begin with. Because righteousness in our own selves is as filthy rags unto the Lord. So the victory is in the resilience of getting back up. Not by our own strength, not by our own power, by the spirit of the living God. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God is raising up a standard against it right now. So Lord, hallelujah, we welcome your presence here. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that you would raise up a standard against the enemy, which is working over time. But as he is working over time, so are you, Lord. Work and move mightily through us and behind the scenes and on our behalf. Thank you, Lord, that you are our advocate, our mediator, that we can come to your throne room of grace, to the mercy seat. We come to you, Lord, with boldness because we have access because the veil has been torn as sons and daughters, Father God. We just lift up your holy name right now. You inhabit the praises of your people. And when two or more are gathered in your holy name, you are present in the midst of us. And if two or more, we speak to any mountain, we speak to any situation, we speak to any spirit of doubt, any spirits lingering in our lives, not sent by God. The only spirit sent by God is the Holy Spirit and every other spirit we command right now that you bow your name. To the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we continuously rededicate our lives to you and we thank you for your lordship over every area of our life jesus you are lord jesus you are savior of our mind will emotions intellect behavior everything that we do let everything that has breath praise the name of the lord our god thank you so much and i just pray against any confusion spirits in myself and anyone watching this and I pray against any curse any hex any bewitchment in the minds of all of us I cancel your assignment by the shed blood on the cross at Calvary 
and I confront every ac accusing and accusation spirit speaking to our minds. I silence you by the power of Jesus Christ's blood. The blood is against you spirits of shame, guilt, and condemnation, and I break your power of darkness over our lives, and I loose the spirit of liberty for whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Let God be true, and every man a liar. I call forth the fire of the Spirit upon us all. Holy Spirit, have your way, and let us get out of the way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is good. He is for you. He loves you. We are his beloved. And let us just continue whatever it is that he would have us to do. I don't know what he's telling you to do tonight, but whatever it is that you feel in your heart the Lord's telling you to do, I encourage you to go and go forth. But we cannot do anything without the anointing of the living God. And so I just pray for a spirit of godly sorrow and the goodness of God to fall upon us heavily and lead us in the way of repentance, which is a change of our mindset. And where the mind goes, the man follows. And our behavior follows out, but it takes a change of mind, which a touch from God can change our minds and our hearts in an instant. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. For he is worthy.
Holy Spirit overflow. We praise you, Lord. We honor you, Father. Glory to the Lamb. Yes, Lord, have your way. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. It's not about us. It's about you. It's about you. Sometimes we've made it about us, but it's all about him.
Yes, Lord, Holy Spirit.
father that you left the 99 for the one right now who is watching for the one right now who feels alone for the one right now who is sitting feeling by themselves thank you lord that you left the 99 for the one and we are that one holy spirit have free reign oh god we give you praise let us know lord that we are the one that you put everything on hold for us that heaven went bankrupt for us through jesus christ you gave it all father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray you would reveal your reckless love
cast out all fear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We stand in the liberty which we've been given from the Almighty. Every chain, every shackle, broken. We come forth boldly as sons and daughters, leaving everything behind, forsaking all for the kingdom is at hand. Christ of Nazareth, that kingdom mentality be bestowed upon us. Spirit of love and unity, spirit of worship and truth, fall heavily upon us. Set us free, Lord, once and for all you have because of your sacrifice. Renew our minds. Renew us, Lord. Renew in us our right spirit.
our soul. I command our soul to line up with our spirit. We are under subjection to the Father of spirits, the Lord Jesus Christ, and we shall live. We shall not die. We shall never die.
of us. Take us to that desert place. Speak to our hearts, Lord, away in that wilderness place. Quiet will the noise. Strengthen your voice from within.
hallelujah to the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, have your way. Holy Spirit, I thank you all. Hallelujah. Praise God. And for those that don't know the Lord, want to know the Lord, feel free to just play this along with me. And just say, Lord, Jesus, I don't know you. But I want to know you. I confess that I am a sinner in need of a Savior. I believe that you died, that you were buried, and that you rose the third day. I ask you right now to come into my heart, to baptize me with your Holy Spirit, with power, with fire. We give God glory. I'm going to plug my phone in. Because for some reason, this always happens. But I love you guys. And we're going to continue. Because the Lord is good. And he is merciful. And his mercy endures forever. So, hallelujah. Jesus. Guys, I'm not going anywhere. Just bear with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We give God glory. He is good. He is worthy. His mercy endures forever. I apologize for the setup. I apologize for the lighting in this room. It's not uh, completely perfect, but hey, we just got to use whatever we have. So all for the kingdom, all for his glory, whatever it is that we have. And we just have to use our surroundings and wherever we are, whatever we have, for his glory, we just got to continue on uh, with what he would have us to do, even in the midst of our trial, even in the midst of our struggle. Let the foundation be in Christ, and let the foundation be in Christ alone. So we don't need professional lighting. We don't need a professional setup. But wherever we are, he is because he goes before us, and he chose you and I to be here right now. Welcome. Have your way. Welcome. Welcome all. Hallelujah. Jesus, have your way. Hallelujah. Father God, have your way in this video. Holy Spirit. In accordance with Luke 14, 26 through 33. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brother, 
brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also. He cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it, lest after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish all who see it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king does not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000. Or else, while the other is still a great way off, he sends a delegation and asks conditions of peace. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple. That's pretty clear. And I'm not saying I'm the perfect example of one who has forsaken all to be the disciple of Jesus Christ. All have fallen short of the mark. But this gospel of the kingdom must be preached until the Lord returns. So here we are. So here we are. This is about foundation being in Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ alone. It's in Him that we move. It's in Him that we breathe. It's in Him that we have our being. So it's in Jesus Christ and it's in Jesus Christ alone. So let us just continue on. Counting the cost. So He's not just saying, hey, you know, come and follow me and don't even think about what you're actually getting yourself into. He's telling us right from the beginning, He didn't say it would be easy from the beginning. He didn't say. Some people will actually have to... By hate, in other words, he doesn't mean hate with a violence or an anger towards their mother, father, wife, or children, brothers and sisters, but by the word hate, he means love less. So we must love Jesus more than our mother, more than our father, more than our sister, more than our brother, and allow Jesus to be the foundation and count the cost of laying the foundation whether we will be able to finish. Otherwise, don't begin at all. But he who has begun a good work is faithful to complete it. So this entirety of our Christian life is by faith. It's by faith. And it is in accordance with 1 Corinthians 3.11. <laughs> for no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid which is Jesus Christ thank you for your compliments <laughs> for no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid which is in Jesus Christ no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid and the one which is laid is in Jesus Christ and it's only in Jesus Christ it's only in Jesus Christ that we have the entirety of our identity. It's only in Jesus Christ that we have the entirety of all that we are. It's only in Jesus Christ that we have the entirety of our destiny and purpose on this earth. And if we don't have Jesus Christ, we don't have any of it at all to begin with. We don't have our identity, we don't have our purpose, and we don't have our destiny at all if we don't have Jesus Christ. We just have a false sense of identity. So the foundation which we stand must be who we are, but not who we know ourselves as, because who we know ourselves as, unfortunately, most likely, and it is, without the Word of God, a lie, because life has lied to us. And so when we pick up the Word of God, it's truth. And the truth purges all lies. And we begin to see ourselves for who we really are. That we really are who God says we are, not men. We really are serving a true and living God. God really is who He says that He is, and He will do and can do what He says, and only He says He can and will do. And many will try to come against these things. 
but the truth of the foundation in which we stand is upon the solid rock. Among Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And so when the storm comes our way, if we don't have a solid foundation, it's possible to, to fall. And we don't have to. We could stand firm in the faith. In accordance with Matthew 7, 24 through 27, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. So when the winds come and the storm starts raging, because our faith is in Jesus Christ and our foundation is in Christ alone, we will stand firm until the end. We shall endure even until the end because we have a foundation to be sure of. We have a foundation. We serve the one who was, who is, and who is to come. The great I am that created all things, all things that we see. We're created by him and we're created for him. So he is able to preserve our soul as blameless unto the coming of the Lord. As accordance with Hebrews 12, 26 through 28, at that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised once more, I will shake not only the earth, but the heaven as well. The words once more signify the removal of what can be shaken, that is created things so that the unshakable may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving an unshakable kingdom, let us be filled with gratitude and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. So, when everything that can be shaken will be shaken, those things which are eternal shall remain. And those things which are eternal shall only remain because... The foundation is Jesus Christ. And right now, a lot of people are watching the storm winds start to brew, are watching the clouds begin to gather before this great shaking. And some have even entered their season of great shaking. He never said it would be easy. But God said all things are possible to them that believe. He never said that some things aren't going to get shaken up, but in fact, everything that is not eternal shall get shaken up, but the things which shall remain are the things which are planted on the solid foundation of Jesus Christ and on Jesus Christ alone. And that's the truth. According to Psalm 62 too, He only is my rock, and my salvation, my stronghold, I shall not be greatly shaken. So it doesn't say, He is my rock and my salvation, but He only is my rock. He only is my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be, it doesn't just say I shall not be shaken, but I shall not be greatly shaken. So, in accordance with Ephesians 2:18 through 22, for through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed together grows unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also builded together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. So we are the foundation in Christ. 
Christ is our foundation. And because Christ is our foundation, he is placing us together and we are fitly framed together to grow to a holy temple in the Lord. We are not his foundation, but in other words, because he is our foundation, we are joined together to work together. Fellow citizens, we are foreigners, we are strangers, we are pilgrims, we are sojourners, we are just passing through. We are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Because Christ Jesus is our foundation, we are seated in heavenly places and we are also placed here on earth to carry out the will of the Lord, whatever the the will of the Lord is for your life, whatever the will of the Lord is for my life, it shall be accomplished on earth as it is in heaven. It's because our identity comes from Christ and our identity comes from Christ alone. And he was and will always be the foundation and nothing shall move us nothing shall shake us even when it seems like things aren't going our way it shouldn't be our way to begin with because it's always his will be done thy kingdom come he's building his kingdom on the earth through his people So let us just continue in encouraging words one to another, confessing our faults one to another, just being in the spirit of the bond of unity, love, strength, and peace, encouraging one another in songs, singing hymns, making melody in our hearts to the Lord. And when Jesus Christ is all that we know, and when Jesus Christ is all that we have. We understand that Jesus Christ is all that we need and all that we ever needed, really. But it's only by way of revelation at times when we've lost it all that we see because a wise teacher, the one who brought me to the Lord, told me until Jesus Christ was all she had, she realized Jesus Christ was all she needed. And that's all you and I need tonight and ever will need and ever needed. It's Jesus Christ and it's Jesus Christ alone. So godliness with contentment is great gain because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Our identity and foundation is placed in him. And we shall not be disappointed when we put our trust and our hope in him. So I just hope that this blesses somebody. I just hope that this helps somebody. I just pray that we just continue, even against the opposition, even in the midst of the trials, because everything is supposed to be shaken at some point. Everything has to be shaken at some point. It molds us. It strengthens us. It builds us into who we are in Him. If we had authority in ourselves to get us ourselves out of the mess, and we may never have cried out to the Lord to begin with. So thank God for some of these trials. Thank God for all of it, even the mess. Just to live is Christ and to die is gain. And to have that perspective, there has to be an understanding that he is and will always be our only foundation. But if we put our trust and our faith in other things, it's a form of idolatry. And that's when we begin to step on slippery ground. But when we put our faith, hope, and trust solely reliant upon the Lord Jesus Christ, we are on solid ground. And we shall not be moved. We shall not be shaken. Hallelujah. The Lord loves you. The Lord blesses you, makes his face to shine upon you. So I just pray the spirit of encouragement would fall upon us and we would just continue with the fruits of the spirit, the fruits of the spirit being placed within us, a seed of joy, a seed of peace, a seed of long-suffering, a seed of kindness, a seed of goodness, a seed of meekness, 
self-control, all of the fruits of the Spirit, I pray, be multiplied and magnified in full operation in the name of Jesus Christ Almighty. And why? It is because the foundation is in Christ. And the Word of God is the water. And the washing of water of the Word, it's, it's watering the seed which was imparted to us, and it's growing within us. And we are just becoming and blossoming into all that we were originally created to be. And all that Christ is really asking of us is to give up something we were never created to be to begin with, which is a false identity when we don't know Him. But when we begin to pick up His Word and see in this Word that He is not a God that He should lie, that the only truth there ever is and will be will be found in Jesus Christ because he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life everlasting. No man comes to the Father but by him. And so let us come to the Father through him and stand firm. Those who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. Because He loves us. He loves us so much. He loves us so much. So please, feel free. Feel free. I'm not here to self-promote anything. I'm just here to be a motivation as the Lord leads. To be an encourager as the Holy Spirit leads. If you feel led... You can feel free anytime to check out the YouTube channel that the Lord has entrusted to me. It's Jenny Lee Mercy, and the Instagram page is Jenny Lee Mercy. I pray that the pages and the music and the worship and all of this um, touches you in a powerful way and that you would tell your friends, tell your family, not here to self-promote, it's not about me, it's not my ministry, it's the Lord's, it's the Lord's. This earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And everything that he's entrusted to us, we're just stewards over the time, the talents, the energy, the finances, the resources, everything that God gives us, it's for his glory. So I'm here not to self-promote, but I'm here to promote and lift up the name of the one who died and gave it all for us a ransom for all of mankind the Lord Jesus Christ who is the same yesterday is the same today and is the same forevermore and he died for you and for you alone and he died for me he died for me alone if nobody else even existed on the planet he died for us so let us just continue he deserves all of the glory. Everything is His. As the Spirit of God leads, if you feel led to check out Long Island Awakening Facebook page, then feel free to do so. We will be praying for revival, miracles, healings, signs, wonders, people to grow and to maintain and to begin an intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just here to volunteer for a mighty move of God upon the earth. And if you feel led to give towards the cause that I just described and to check out the page, I will leave you the links on top of this video. But like I said before, I'm not here to self-promote and I'm not here to push a financial prosperity gospel, but I am here to move in the Spirit of God and to speak by the Spirit's leading and to only speak by the Holy Ghost's rule and reign over my lips and it's not my own agenda, it's not my own ministry, but it is the Lord's. And everything belongs to the Lord. So let's give him praise and continue on. I will pray for all of you. I hope that all of you will please pray for me. And until the next time, just be blessed 
and have a lovely night. I love you all with the love of Christ. God bless.